Greg Plitt is without a doubt the single biggest influence in the way I train. I always thought for a natural lifter, he had the best chest in the world. And what really stood out to me about his chest workouts was the variety that he attacked his chest with. Chest extreme, pecs perfection is what I'm about to do right now. You guys heard of drop sets? You've heard of supersets. This is gonna be a super drop set. Tons of angles, supersets, and time under tension. In fact, I don't think I ever saw him bench press once in his videos. But what really makes his chest stand out is the well-sculpted and rounded outer chest development. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you three very unique exercises that will help you sculpt your outer chest line. We're going to accomplish this with high rep range exercises that put safe, targeted stretch tension at the origin of the pec major muscle. Now, this doesn't replace lifting heavy on press movements. So at the very end of the video, I'm going to share with you an entire chest workout implementing heavy mass building movements with these outer chest exercises. If you're watching this video and you don't have an aesthetic chest and you've spent a couple years in the gym so far, I think it's really important to understand why you don't have the results you're looking for. And assuming that you're lifting heavy and focusing on increasing your push strength, I believe that the reason most of you don't have an aesthetic chest is lack of time under tension training targeting all three sections of your chest muscle. You see the pectoral muscle actually has muscle fibers going in three different directions. Now on top of this, metabolic stress is one of the three ways our body builds muscle scientifically and is created with constant time under tension. And that actually means not locking out fully back to the starting position of the movement. So on top of these outer chest exercises, I just wanna show you guys five epic cable chest fly movements and if you incorporate T45 sets each week on all five of these unique cable fly chest variations, I guarantee you, you're gonna start having a lot more aesthetic chest. You're gonna target every single section of the chest. I have not uploaded a video on this channel for one straight month. I've actually never done that before in the history of Superhuman You. And the truth is, and by the way, we're gonna head back to Vancouver in 30 seconds. We're gonna make some chest gains, but I just wanna say, Bodybuilding is hard when you have a lot going on in your life. Building a brand is tough as f um, Building a YouTube channel is incredibly hard and I've been like pedal to the metal on all three for quite some time and the truth is I just needed to kind of take a step back and really look at what I'm doing and I like to analyze things. I always like to try to improve and I've been trying to work on just making my content better, making epic videos for you guys and also Alpha Line at the same time has been growing rapidly and it's required so much of my time and my energy and my focus. And I've been working to create an epic system where I can upload videos for you guys every single day. And starting on Monday, December 10th, we are gonna do exactly that. So we're gonna do 15 days until Swomis. So if you guys could do me a favor, tap that notification bell, the little bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out and I promise you guys, I got amazing content coming your way. Help you guys make some gains right before the holidays. Let's head back to Vancouver and make some chest gains. So I made a video last year on how to get the outer chest line and it got over 2 million views. And the most common comment that I got was you can't actually target and sculpt the outer chest. So I decided to bring in the head of pectoral aesthetics, Professor Kitty Gaines, Tell them how you can get a better outer chest and actually target this area right here. Safe, targeted, stretch tension at the origin of the pec major muscle. Boom. Let's get into exercise number one and that is stretch fly 21s. Now I call it 21s because we're doing three different starting positions and we're utilizing T45. Now remember, we want safe, targeted stretch tension at the origin of the pec major muscle. Now, the starting position with this one is at the very top. It should be between the two and the three if your chest fly machine is like mine. So anything that gets you a range of motion from high to low is what we want here. And we're going a pace of two seconds on the eccentric portion, a one second pause. So I want you guys to really feel that contraction, safe targeted tension back here, and then a one, centric, uh, one second concentric motion right here. So high to low for a full 45 seconds. And then what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna rest 15 seconds as you transition the uh, fly machine and you're gonna go mid cable fly because remember the chest muscle has muscle fibers going in three different directions. We're gonna annihilate our chest 
on the outer portion doing this exercise and it's an incredible pre-fatigue before any chest workout. Once again, uh, safe targeted stretch tension going a full 45 seconds time under tension and you guys are definitely going to have to go fairly light on this exercise because it is a lot of time under tension and the reason why this is so effective and watch it, watch the very end of this. I had a crazy chest pump. You could literally see vascularity right here on the outer portion of my chest. So it is an incredible feeling when you go this uh, much time under tension. So 45 seconds mid and then you're going to put the, um, the fly machine down to the position of 10 and 11. So it went from two to three, around six to seven, and then around 10 to 11. And once again, a full 45 seconds time under tension. So you're just gonna go one circuit through that, and let's dive into exercise number two. Number two is the reverse incline dumbbell press unilateral into slow motion double reps. Now the starting position of this is, think of it as a, as a cross between a fly and a regular pressing motion. So it's not all the way out here like you're doing a fly, it's not all the way in like you're doing a regular dumbbell press. Now, very interesting um, paces on this. So you're gonna be going two reps on the left side, you're gonna be going two reps on the right side, so you're going unilateral for two, and then you're going two slow motion reps. So the unilateral reps, a nice, um, nice pace of two seconds on the way down, one second pause, one second concentric, and then on the slow motion double reps, I want you to even slow it down further. I want you to really feel that burn, nice and slow and controlled, a three seconds on the eccentric portion. I want you to hold that position for one second, and then two seconds on the concentric portion for two reps. So this is sort of a version of the anabolic drop set because you're gonna be going a total of 24 reps, um, eight unilateral on the left side, eight unilateral on the right side, and then a total of eight slow motion double reps. Exercise number three is wide grip stretch push-up. So with this one, you wanna elevate your hands about 12 to 18 inches off the ground. So I literally just used the dip machine at the gym I was filming this video in. So find anything that allows you to place your hands in a wide position and in an elevated position about 12 to 18 inches off the ground so you get that nice stretch. So with this one, you're utilizing T45, so I want you guys to really go until failure with this. Go a full 45 seconds time under tension at the minimum. If you can go longer than this, go for longer. So with this one, um, a pace of two seconds on the way down, a one second pause, really feel that nice stretch, and then a one second concentric on this movement. So. Um, I'll show you a second variation as well if you guys don't have anything to place your hands in an elevated position and a wide grip. What you can do is you can do decline wide grip push-ups. So I really actually pointed my hands outward like this as you see in the clip and it's um, actually a really great exercise that you really don't see very often. So you're going to elevate your feet about 24 inches off the ground. You're going to place your hands outward in a wide position and you're going to go 45 seconds time under tension. So. That is the three outer chest exercises that I guarantee most of you guys have probably not done. So these three outer chest exercises do not form an entire chest workout. So what I recommend you do is screenshot this right now. Simply add in three heavy sets of dumbbell bench press in the four to eight rep range, three heavy sets of barbell incline bench press in the four to eight rep range, along with these three outer chest exercises, and you guys have an entire chest workout utilizing the balloon method. Thank you guys so much for watching day number one of 15 days until Swomus. Give this video a big like, tap that notification bell next to the subscribe button. And if you haven't seen my video on three forgotten upper chest exercises, I'm gonna link to that right now. And also follow me on Instagram at Troy Shred. I post a lot different types of content on Instagram that I do on YouTube. So follow me there, make sure you tap that notification bell, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys tomorrow.